The Andy Gill family of McGee is concluding their reign as Arkansas's Farm Family of the Year, an experience they say has been humbling and rewarding. Last December, Andy, Shannon, Madeline, and Andrew Gill were stunned when their name was called as the 2013 Farm Family of the Year. Though Andy feels others are more deserving, the Gills have represented the state with distinction. It was very unexpected, but uh, quite an honor, and we, we really appreciate all the people that worked so hard to, uh, to put that program together and shine a good light on our community and, and state. Well, it was humbling, and it was such a nice experience when the judges came and we enjoyed meeting them. So it was an added bonus for them to actually see worth in what we were doing, and I was really proud for Andy. I, I think he deserved it. After graduating from the University of Arkansas five years ago, Andrew returned home to help his dad run the farm, a decision Shannon says was positive for both of them. Not only has it been fun for him to spend the time with Andrew, but they've been able to build and, and start taking on more acres and making the farm a little bit bigger. Not often does a young adult want to be around his parents very much, and I suppose in some ways he has no choice with this, but we, we enjoy it all the more <laughs> that we get to see him every day. And, and I feel like Andy is able to teach him things that maybe the university didn't teach him uh, and how to run a business and run the farm. Farming can be a consuming occupation, getting up before dawn and working until midnight. Growing up, Andy loved spending time with his dad and as a father himself, values being able to work alongside his son. Back when I got so to be at the biggest point uh, was in the in the late 90s and uh, my dad passed away so excuse me anyway spend more time with the kids and, and uh, watch them grow up and go to all the ball games and things and it just makes a difference like many farm wives shannon handles the bookkeeping and during harvest weighs the grain trucks and checks moisture levels of the corn being able to work with her husband and grown children is gratifying. We don't all go to our separate places to work. We, ha we all have a common goal, and I feel like every year we have a, an accomplishment that we can look at. Um, it's, instead of it being never-ending, you have a, a goal every year to put it in the ground, to take care of it, and bring it out. So that, I think that's a, that's a good way to live, and I think it's a noble, uh, a noble way to make a living. Farmers need to advocate for agriculture. While some people may not understand how technology allows farmers to produce safe and abundant food, Shannon says farm families need to be willing to have constructive conversations with them. Just explain your way of thinking and how you do uh, take care of the land and conserve water and do the best you can on the farm. No, no, one, no one wants to ruin their ground, uh, deplete water supply, so it's, it's there's always PR work to be done, I guess, for our industry. When I started farming, an, an older gentleman told me that if I would uh, plant on time and spray on time, then I would be able to uh, pay on time. So, and it's kind of worked out for us, and, and uh, it's it's pretty pretty good something to live by. <laughs> 